all the time. Uh, dogs, dogs are my wife's and my children. The woman you see being dragged by that small pony is Lisa Flynn. She was not an inventor. She was a woman through her kindness and her love for animals was volunteering at several dog shelters in New Jersey. So she was walking hundreds of dogs a week and she's a petite woman and they were dragging her or she would have dogs that could wiggle out of their harness. So she basically with just some really good foresight invented a better walking lead. She met my wife. My wife Kelly is a professional dog trainer who specializes in training dogs for TV and movie work. That's how I met her. We've been married for 20 years. We use Lisa Flynn's harness lead every single time we take our dogs for a walk outside of our own property. And we do that several times a week. This lead, because of its really unique way of going around the barrel of the dog, not the throat, and around their chest is a much more humane way to walk a dog. It also is a lead they cannot back out of. I now have eight colors left. We just got them back into our inventory. I love that these have done so exceptionally well. The first one is the pink and purple together. But there's only 250 of these. These are all made by hand. This is the pink and lime, 250 of that one. This one is the uh, blue and lime, about 400 of those. Here's the blue and turquoise uh, for my, my baby Cricket. She's my, my Australian Kelpie, she gets the pink. Here's the black with the reflective. Here's one of my favorites, bright orange with reflective, which is what I use the most often. And then this is the red with the reflective. Now, let's show the video from the inventor. Customer top rated, I think it's the best lead out there. Lisa? Hi everybody, this is my dog Baggins and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put the harness lead on. You start out with it just like so, put it over the dog's head, the slit opening, position it along the shoulders. And then to size it for your particular dog, you just take these two black stops and all you do is move them so they're in line with the back of the front leg. Then starting on the metal ring side, you just take the leash and go underneath the dog's body, bring the handle up through the slit opening, bring the rubber disc up through, and then just lower the disc down. It reduces pulling by tightening around the barrel only, so you don't have the tightening around the neck. Bag ends, you ready to go for a walk? All right, come on, let's go. Uh, it, it's amazing how it changes <clears throat> the behavior of the dog. Once the dog feels secure, but not choked, they tend to be much calmer and a dog can't back out of it. Now, by the way, this is for dogs 15 pounds and bigger. If you've got a teacup, this is not for you. I want to recognize somebody, I, I adore this woman. Uh, she and Lisa have known each other for a while. I won't embarrass you, Kylie, but <laughs> Kylie has been dear friends to my wife and myself for years. She has rescued dogs from around the globe and she would never bring something to us that wasn't a better, more conscientious, more humane way to protect and love our animals. And that's why I'm so glad that you're a part of this team. I think it's the best dog lead that I had ever seen. Yeah, you know, Dan, I have to agree. And it's always such an honor to bring these kind of products here at QVC. And I've been working with Lisa and her team for five years. It's been here at the Q. Yep. And it really is the best way to walk your dogs, whether your dogs are well behaved, whether they pull, whether they try to escape, because it's a universal kind of one size fits all, whether you're 14 pounds on up, that's going to adjust to any body type and feels great for the dog. And most importantly, it gives you the peace of mind of knowing that you have a great control over your dog. You saw how easy it was for Lisa to put it on. I have Guinness here. Guinness is one of my rescue dogs. He is one of those hey, international rescues. And he actually came from a rescue that only uses the harness lead yep. because you're dealing with dogs that maybe haven't had human contact and are a little scared. So Guinness actually for two months of his life didn't have any human contact. So he was very scared. But with this, we can literally put this over. You saw how Lisa was able to adjust it to the body simply by these rubber stops. 
They line up with the back leg. It goes around the barrel. Sorry, buddy, he's falling asleep. And then it's gonna go up through and easy to walk. So that way, if Guinness were to pull, Guinness would tighten around the barrel, not around the, the neck. And what I love about that too, Dan, is that he can wear his identification still. So he's got his collar on, mm -hmm. but he's got his leash. Come on. Come here, buddy. You can see if he wanted to go for a walk, how nice this fits him. It's a poly construction, so it's soft and silky against their skin. And if he were to pull, that's what this rubber strap does right here. So it's really, really great, great product. And Lisa created this because she was a volunteer coordinator at a rescue shelter, walking all sorts of dogs that had different kind of abilities. This was one leash that could fit all of them. And it can become your slip lead too as well, which you know is a great, yep. great tool for yep. having a dog. Uh, I'll tell you, I, I have beat the living daylight out of you know a couple dozen of these things and they just mm -hmm. keep up each yeah. one of my dogs we've got three right now all have their own uh and they're color coordinated cricket's got the mm -hmm. pink one uh voodoo who is no longer with me it was always the orange and the reflective they are so well made they're beautifully crafted and there really is nothing else like this and i want to say something when i met lisa seven years ago she was not a television personality. Uh, she wasn't a celebrity. She was just this woman with a passion to create a better way to walk a dog. Nobody wants something around their throat. This goes around the barrel of their chest, not their throat, and around right behind their legs. So they're secure. She was so nervous, Kylie, the first time that she was on the air. Uh, I know. And I get it. <laughs> But to see her business thrive and to see literally hundreds of thousands of dog owners now not having the frustration of being dragged by their dog or dogs that can back out of their leads. And it's so simple to do. And it might sound a little confusing. If you wouldn't mind, go back with Guinness and show us how to put it on again. Because once you do it once or twice, it's the easiest thing. The only difference in the behavior of that, that Bernie is the lead. Oh yeah, I mean, it really works that well. If you have a dog that pulls you down the street, if you have a dog that backs out, if you've tried other harnesses and they didn't work for you, this is a great way for you to walk your dog where they're not gonna pull anymore. They're not gonna be able to back out. They're, it's completely escape proof and it feels good on the dog. And most importantly, it gives you that peace of mind, Dan. That's what it's all about, you know, feeling secure with your own dog. There are two sizes, the small, medium, medium, large. Small, medium is gonna yep. go 14 pounds to 40 pounds. Medium, large is 40 pounds, up to probably about 170, 175 pounds. But if you wanted a shorter lead on it, you could go with the small medium. Really, it's just the length of the lead that is the right. difference. So yep. small medium is going to be four feet. Medium large is going to be six feet. And I'll show you again with Guinness when we come back here. So all you do is you literally put it around their head. You adjust it by these rubber stops. So that's what makes it universal. The rubber stops just want to line up with the back of that front leg. And then you can see you can use this as a slip lead. So if you wanted to, you know, tighten it as a slip lead, you could. Yep. Now you want to go around the barrel underneath him. But boys. And you have this rubber stop right here. That goes in this little hole that's in between their shoulder blades. And then literally the lead pops up through that. You want to push that rubber stop all the way down. And then that way, if he walks and pulls, you can see he can't get through that. But what I love is it's so much more humane. It's not tightening. It's not strangling him. And he can't back out of this. Up, up, buddy. Good boy. Come here. Yeah, show everybody. You can't back out of this. So if he were to pull, it literally just tightens around his barrel and it's comfortable <laughs> for him. This is a rescue dog that literally would not let humans touch him, had no human contact for two months. Yeah. So if this was something that was scary or hurt him, he would never let us put it on. But he loves his harness lead and it makes walking so much easier. I, I'm telling you, I, seeing him, it just makes me smile to see the evolution. <laughs> but man, Kylie, that's, that's what love does. Wait. That is yeah. what love does. Again, when you have to create tension, uh, it's creating the tension here, okay? Not here. Let me run through these colors. We've had over a thousand of you who picked them up. Here is the pink and purple together. We have the really pretty pink and lime. Here's the blue and lime, blue and turquoise, the pinky pink. Uh, by the way, Pat, my, my best friend here at QVC, she has a dog, uh, her daughter has a dog, and that's what we gave her as her present. Here's the black reflective. I really like that bright orange reflective and the red reflective. Now, by the way, the red reflective has been the most popular. Uh, by the way, I think our price tag at 2660 is really, really reasonable. These are all it done is, by hand. It is. 
Kylie, they are. Happy New Year to you and Dan, uh, to Guinness Thanks, and the Dan. rest of the the four-legged family members. It's always the Greyhound came over too. Be well. Come say hi, Weezy. There's Weezy. Weezy. Say bye. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Greyhound's in the shot too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, real quick, I want to remind you of our today's special value because it's been remarkably popular. We've had already 2,300 people who picked it up just in this show. That's over 8,000 so far today.